talking about what the government might be capable of doing. We're saying, but it is, is that a chemtrail or a contrail? And to j keep jumping to it's these... It's not jumping. No, it is totally jumping, because our topic is, is that white fluffy thing you see in the sky, water or barium and aluminum, basically, okay? And to well, start saying, well, the government's trails. evil, therefore, you need to prove that it's not, is, is, it's kind of embarrassing. It's not embarrassing to say that the government has used carcinogenic metals and chemicals and plastics in our sky for years. And to say that, wow, you know what? People who talk about GU engineering are demonized and have death threats and get sued and have a lot of retribution and get blackballed in their community when they speak out about weather modification okay, without is, permission. Again, no, that you're, not, is you're not making any proof but or anything. I do have proof. I, I do have proof. proof. I'm sorry that I don't carry my, my, my documents with me to Pork Fest because I didn't know you when I was I mean, having this discussion. I mean, just think about if somebody else said, you know what, I know how evil the government's doing and they've dropped nuclear bombs on at least two cities that we know about. Oh. So why is it hard to imagine blank? And I could just insert anything in blank and your argument would be just as, just as valid because you're not backing it up with anything. You're so, just saying, okay. we know I'm they've done use... mean stuff, therefore, I, th I, that's a chemtrail. It is the, I, I, can so you not see history, how so personal history, crazy that sounds? If somebody like Ed Weaver has a, a history of doing this, this, and this, and this, and he is assaulting people, and he is sitting right here, do you think it is just outlandish to say, you know what, I think He's he assaulted. Assault. The point <laughs> is, is that there is a history that, that comes what? into personal character, <laughs> that's, that's business statistics. There's a history of spraying carcinogens and plastics on the people. There's a history of giving away free cheese, too. But, but I don't, it doesn't mean that, that every cheese you find is a, is a government program. We are program. talking Jeez. about the sky. <laughs> <laughs> we are saying the weather has, the, the government, our government has modified the weather, so has foreign governments. And so have, like, uh, farmers in the right. Dust Bowl. Right, but you, I feel, Correct me if I'm wrong, you are saying it's completely insane to say that our government would spray nanoparticulate metals in the sky. No, I didn't say that. Well, I then said what? I don't understand. I said, wait, wait, wait. I think we I said, no, let me finish. I said, no, I I said, I, I said no one's shown me any evidence of it. There and is they haven't because there isn't any I'm evidence. I'm trying to help you get your own evidence so no, that you can't say it was It's tainted. not my theory. Woo, it's sorry. your theory. If it's you not want a people theory. to believe your it's theory, my job. you pr well then. If you want your theory to be, pr you know, no, you have a theory. That's aluminum and barium. That's your theory. It's not a theory. If you want it to be taken seriously, it's, you it's have to present samples. something. I have presented plenty. See, I don't know. I, get, I feel like we're in a I'm, loop, and I'm going to ask right. you to just not keep repeating the same things. Okay. Well, I would just appreciate if we could have this conversation without you belittling me like that, because I'm not repeating. I'm trying to explain to you that everything I'm saying is relevant and I do have the proof and I'm sorry if you've heard about me in six months but I've been talking about this for years and people have seen my evidence and I am in a court case and when it's closed I'll give you the case number so that you can see it okay. and then you can call me crazy all, right, all you want. You, the, you can assert it harder and harder and it's harder an but an assertion without evidence is nothing more than an assertion. Okay, you could keep making that assertion even harder, but that is not advancing any kind of a, an intelligent argument. Do you realize that? Well, I am intelligent, and I feel like we are having. I an realize argument. you. I'm trying to get you to advance an argument, but you're. I ha I do, but what I'm trying to tell you is, I didn't bring my case files with me to Pork Fest. Didn't know we were having this conversation. I have the documentation. I know I might be dressed like a hippie right now, but this is what I do. I'm credentialed in what I do. I didn't pull this out of my ass, and I definitely wouldn't be telling you this elaborate story and that is where i feel that we're, we're hitting a crossroad here right. is no, that i'm saying show me the evidence and you're saying there isn't any there is evidence oh there, but, the government no. has evidence oh. it's out there <laughs> i have evidence but if people Geologists want to decide for themselves i mean evidence means this is something here here's the evidence so if, if there is a bunch of heavy metals that are not supposed to be naturally in our atmosphere at those levels would you would you think that it's weird how did it get there yeah so people who sample the rain and get super high levels that the EPA would say, oh my gosh, that is 100 times over the occupational How did you get a beer and I don't have one? I prepared. This was from uh, the <laughs> Liberty Movement Radio there? folks. Get any this guy one? a Zima. Well, I, I have no evidence too. of any beer no. being. <laughs> <laughs> I see beer here. This is exactly why I, I no try to get people to say, screw her, she's crazy. Do your own research. And I will I give you... Again, that's not, but, that's not advancing a theory. But okay? I have shared... It, it's not about advancing a theory. It's about skeptics no, like you're here you. To, you're here to defend a theory. I'm not defending anything, actually. Okay. The only thing I'm defending is my truth. What I know, what I saw, why I 
had things happen to me that happened to me, I am defending that because it happened and I have integrity and I'm not going to sit here and just make up an elaborate story that has this type of okay, So, So the, the just, we both of you can agree that there is no issue about could the government be capable of doing something like she's talking about because like you said they've blown up cities for god's sake they can do anything right okay so let's just get past that what is the government evil enough let's get past the fact that like the uh, like the cloud seeding um weather modification they've done that we both know that let's get past that okay let's just stick like this like beginning yeah. to the beginning of this okay could there be obviously since you both agree that the government's capable of anything. I think it's safe to say you both agree that there could be another form of weather modification, which the government is doing, but they're not telling anybody about it at the moment. Could exist. Okay. Well, we all know so, the government's not going to tell us what they're doing. That's the point. I mean, but okay. we can also we also know an awful lot about what the government is doing. So right. an awful lot is knowable. They've done they've done enough heinous stuff that I do know about. I'm not going to get bent out of shape over over what I'm imagining they're doing with zero evidence to back it up. But you're, spraying, you're zero they're evidence. They're spraying depleted uranium at, at, at countries do you need? right do, now. Do you need a pilot and there's like, to come out and talk to you? No, I, I told you. What? But no, I don't understand. Okay, I know, what right, evidence okay, do you well, need? Well, I, what I need is a scientific investigation okay. based on reason and evidence. Okay, it has that, been done. Okay, let me. I will get it. To okay. You. Um, this I'll get it to you and stuff. No, I, that's I all great. I'm glad to see that. I'm not the only you should also get it to all those people over at Skywatch that that say there is no evidence. I don't associate myself with other people. I'm just just in just saying you might want to share it because there's a lot of people saying that you're wrong. So you might want to just get that that's out there. That's fine. Um, it's, it's to to we either say look, there's evidence or there isn't evidence. Okay. And it just seems like you, you're willing to assert over and over again, and I think you generally believe what you're saying. Um, well, I, I know what I'm saying. You, you, I know you really, well, you're not really giving us anything. You've given us, I think I've, we can I've agree. Given I've this seen country a nothing. lot. No, I've seen nothing from you right now that says, you know what, I'm, I have, I have a, something to back up my theory with. I do. And, I'm but sorry yet, that I didn't bring nothing. it to Did fest. anybody here, let me just take a quick poll, and if I missed it, maybe somebody can fill me in. At what point did she say, here's the evidence that you can independently verify? Any Anything? She, what? she mentioned, she mentioned, mentioned doing take. a FOIL request. So right, so I'm supposed to do a freedom of, so this whole, whole evidence, is, are you saying it's just based on me doing a Freedom of Information Act request to, to, to the Air Force, and somehow I'm supposed to through that process determine why she's right? I, I, I can't no, follow it's, that. No, it's because I think I could show you, a, right, and you would still find a way to say that it doesn't exist, because I feel like you are very much on your stance, and I, right, I show could me show you evidence. a pilot, and you'd be like, well, you're a not A pilot is not evidence. Well, a lot of people, that's what they're waiting well, that's for. Well, that's eyewitness testimony. Yeah. Why would that Well, I'd love evidence? to see that. That would be, at least be a start, Well, in it? a court case, people are convicted all the time on circumstantial evidence. So, uh, does every crime need to be videotaped? I mean, there is so much well, evidence let me just, okay, let me just outside back, of no, my evidence. Okay, I don't really think you actually understand what I mean when I say evidence. And a lot of people in the chemtrail movement don't understand what words like proof and evidence are. I do, are. my background. I'm, I see a thousand posts on is. Facebook, uh, you know, over the, over the years, or let's just say quite a few, chemtrail proof. And there's, there's never any proof there. So um, it's a, it's usually video, and I agree. That's and why it's somebody talking about a research those. thing they imagined. And anyway, there's uh, these things get circulated and circulated around and repeated as proof and proof and proof. There's proof a lot of disinformation. Is, proof is you're right. Here's the here here's an air sample. Here's the analysis. And those um, are all over the here's world. Here's the analysis of the of the light that I measured coming through the through through that thing we're just we're talking about today. Um, here's. Um, you know what? I, I pulled this tank out of the back of a plane and it's full of barium. You okay? know what happens Here, when people you know, present that? No, let me just finish. Okay, you said what's the proof? Okay, I'm giving you what the proof is. The proof is some something based on reason and evidence and not speculation, yep. paranoia, and fantasy. Okay, and if chemtrails are re real, um, you know, it's a real shame because the chemtrail movement has basically ruined the credibility of that theory. Because if it is real, 
Um, you know, they've got such crappy disinformation going around by I the agree. by the chemtrailers. I agree with that. that. Uh, That's why you know, I don't involve myself with them. Well, you know, you, you're still making these wild assertions. That, you, that, know? I, you know what? I and feel they're like, like, I'm just going to assert loud enough is... and talk about, uh, like, I had a job once and therefore people should agree with me. A lot you of people what, fall James? for that. People will come forward with you. I'm one of many people, whether they're physicians, EHS personnel, chemists, geologists, who have all done their own studies. You know what happens to those people that talk about it? They are demonized. And there are few who get to scurry away because they can't handle that humiliation of public of people saying, well, this guy is gay or this guy is that. People are demonized. Not everyone has the balls to say, fuck you. I don't care if you demonize me. Don't hire me. I'm going to do the job I was trained to do. Again, you're just trying to make like excuses that. for it's the lack of evidence. No. I have plenty of Well, that's evidence. fine. But at least you're agreeing with me when you evidence. say, well, and again, you, you keep asserting it you have evidence. It is not asserting. I feel like it is no longer your opinion now. You're speaking false information because you do not know what I have. No, I've heard and you I don't keep carry saying it around that, with me no, in you keep, no, you keep <laughs> saying you have evidence. I do but have evidence. But again, that's an assertion. Why do you think I had to get whistleblower protection? Because I have evidence. Again, you're asserting you have evidence. I get that. Well, you don't have to keep saying that. You don't have that. to believe it, but I feel like... But unless you... <laughs> asserting you have evidence and having evidence is a pretty big difference, you feel like right? But it, I feel, it to you? but no, he wouldn't. But like, I why feel do you like, say that? Now that's well, that, you know that's yeah, not yeah, genuine. Yeah, yeah. Question, because I'm wondering, like, if she gave you her evidence. Now you made the argument earlier how she found out about our soil samples. Would you still be able to? You would try to refute her evidence, right? Well, I don't. I have no idea what even we're talking about. But, how can I even wait, respond wait, to that? No, wait, wait. She she says she has evidence. It's not on the internet, but she has it. You know, if you went to her house and said, Jake, here, I'll walk you through it all. All the research I've done, all the evidence I've collected. I haven't even eight, begun. Eight, 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 you over, I bro. haven't even begun to continue. Okay, would you at least be open, you open enough to be like, okay, give it to me. Let, let me have it. Would you know, you it sounds that really time-consuming. What I'd rather have well, is it, wait. Let, me fit, let me answer the question, which I is I would rather have it available like to stone, the public for so. independent peer review. Okay, again, me. Looking, going into her basement, going, oh my God, it's true. I Doesn't don't, do I don't agree shit. With peer okay, what does right. shit is when you say, this is my scientific study, this is the experiment I did to verify my theory and to prove my theory, and I've drawn to this conclusion. Here's the experiment I did. Here's the data I collected. Here's any sample materials and raw data, and the world is challenged to repeat the experiment and get the same results. That is That's exactly how we move forward what I've done based on for logic. Two years. No, no, you have it. It is. James, when did you she, first hear about me? Just because you assert that is not... No, when did you first like, hear about me? It's like we're in a loop. I'm curious, when did you first hear about me? Because I've been talking about this for a long time, and I have been on multiple radio shows presenting okay, the evidence. I, I did TV shows where I actually had to show my physical paperwork documentation for them to put me on TV. So, I don't know what more you need, but I've told you I don't carry that stuff with me. Okay. That is not, I don't, I, know. Well, I didn't I'm just come saying, to Pork Fest knowing okay. I would be Well, let's just, so debate. we yeah. just agree that you have no information or on any the, kind of evidence that right you can now, present on to the body. online audience. I do. To, uh, what I'm I just do. saying is, if there's some evidence that you would like to make available to the online audience or to the general public or to peers for independent review, uh, please let the camera know where to find that. And probably whoever watches this, many will know, I have seen it. She has showed me. It is out there. It just, it's and just I'm trying. I, no, you it's not a loop. This. It's not a loop. <laughs> I'm trying to get you as a skeptic to do yeah, your own. You just. What, a point um, and I have done it, but I'm telling you, I can't continue to talk about something that I am unable to talk about at the moment. No, you, you don't. And then you, when it's you, done, I'll give you, you the can't number. talk about the evidence. So, um, we're just, but, but it's real, and, and I'm just gonna have to believe you. And that's. What's that? No, we're talking about geoengineering. No, we're talking about chemtrails. We're talking about are our chemtrails real or imagined? Oh well, I, I, I see enough of it. Just my own eyes. I know, I know what contrails are, I know what I grew up with, and I know when they changed. This guy doesn't look the same in it like it used to, does it? Nope. And that wouldn't have anything to do with like a lot more jets in the sky? Nothing to do with when you see five jets flying in parallel. And the, and the That's called the Blue Angels. They do stunts. It's There's not air shows no, all over the country every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not but sometimes they're free. <laughs> I, call, I don't know if it's, it's geoengineering show. or just spraying poison. Aluminum, barium, strontium. They're, they're spraying something. And I don't, 
I'm a bicyclist. One of the ways I measure the ecology is to look at roadkill. But I don't see, I see, still see chipmunks, I still see squirrels, I still see an occasional skunk. But I do not see raccoons like I used to. I do not see frogs, snakes, or other amphibians. I don't see what I used to see. Well, there's, I think it's pretty clear there are, are a lot of extinctions going right now. Some have compared this to other mass extinction periods. Well, in yeah, this is supposed to be a mass extinction period, or somebody is claiming it is, and I don't see anything to say to refute it. Here in, in New Hampshire, where they're talking about their great deer, I don't see dead deer, and I don't smell dead deer. You know what? I don't see any of those giant elk in Ireland anymore either. Well, they were I do to see. Extinction. Elk, I see them in New York. I see them in Pennsylvania. I see them in New Jersey. Lots of dead deer on the road. And those I dodo don't birds. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't seen a dodo bird. In are you are you, no. mock, you are you mocking? No, me? what I'm just saying is there's animals no. go extinct all the time. They're not Due talking to man. about that. No, look, look, Due to look man. Talk, talk, talk to the fish and game people. They're saying how wonderful the hunting is. Come the only here. time I deal with fish and game is when they're assaulting a banjo player that I'm with. <laughs> it's true. I, I know. I know. I know. I know the guitar player. <laughs> I know Excuse me, personally. commercial break. This is brought to you by Gigi Bowman for Senate. <laughs> <laughs> and Bowman's Bakery, where you can get your organic, gluten-free, and GMO free cupcakes. Here. Moderated by Ed of Save Long Island. She even has organic, non-GMO salt. Okay. Save Long Island travels everywhere, even to Brooklyn, and we get That's the That's right. Job done even New Hampshire's not far away for Save Long Island. And debates to you. Yeah. So follow Extinction, Save Long Island. Whatever. Look for our next forum. Thank you. Sure you use non-GMO salt. Yes. Sea salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. You don't use the GMO salt, do you? No. Why, you sea salt. Why? There is no such thing. thing. <laughs> Just being stupid. <laughs> you want to talk to me about GMO food now? Because we'll have that conversation. Libertarians for GMOs no, I just are said, assholes. I'm just what? doing a survey of people how they feel about GMO salt. I don't know. I'm just trying to find out. Different people. I don't know. Some people think it shouldn't be given to kids in school. Anyway, we're off topic. <laughs> Back well, to our regularly like, scheduled programming. Like we, we won't get anywhere because... Well, we've established uh, that you've asserted that you have some evidence, but nothing that we can look at here. That, that's correct. I did okay, not bring nothing anything. Nothing no one online can link to right now. Yes, I removed it offline Okay, so there's right nothing now. online, nothing here, but you're really okay. sure. I'm sure because okay. I've done studies for the past, what is it, 2014? Since 2007, I've been doing case studies and talking with people across the globe who understand, and it is relevant, my profession, because if you're like a geologist or a chemist, you understand interactions and things like that, so it's a lot easier for me to get the information and, and, and I don't believe in peer reviewed because I learned that in my profession that peer reviewed is quack because I don't Tesla believe, okay. didn't have peer reviewed information and uh, who, who here sees Tesla being demonized by energy companies so peer reviewed I believe is bullshit. Do you believe in science? What is science? Yeah, um, my, my, my experiments, reproducing I, it, I, I, yep, scientific I feel it method. Is ever evolving and there's always going to no, be new discoveries. No, is it a good thing? Science? Yeah, yeah the scientific subject. method? Is it something I, that people I, should use to try to solve these questions? If if there is provable... If you're t are you talking about a... Qu I'm trying to understand your question. I'm just wondering, is, is, it, like, this, huge... is, is the theory of chemtrails something that we should use science to investigate? I think and the scientific a, I think, method, uh, specifically? It is, it is uh, a portion of it, yes. So. And it, there's a lot of administrative data, too. So, but is there, so science does have a role in this? It does. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of administrative data too. It's not just doing all the pl hazard plotting and testing. It's, it's like any time there is investigation for a crime or what, anything else, you know, you have to do multifaceted Actually, study. Let me ask a question. Let me ask you, James. If Kristen did, was able to make public her evidence about this, do you think a, it would even be picked up by the media. Well, uh, there's a possibility. It depends no. on depends on what it was and what the interest was. No, I mean, because unfortunately, I've given it to the media. he's answering me a, answering me a question. Here's the thing: is that what I think that she's going to even claim is this secret evidence? She thinks testing soil is proof of chemtrails. No, I did not say that. Now you're well because you're making a false accusation. I okay, did not well, say good. that. So we've established that soil samples have nothing to do with proving chemtrails. No, no. Well, which is it? I'm saying. 
you have to know what you're doing to use soil because you can't just go take soil, send it to a lab. If you don't know the background here and you don't know neighboring uh, industrial processes or the history of any remediation. So yeah, you can, but you have to know what you're doing, which is why professional people should do soil sampling. Okay, that kind of got off, but I think your question is, if it's you off. saw the evidence, mm -hmm. would people take it seriously or would, it, would the media take <laughs> it seriously? The question is, if, if this evidence is, here's my, my soil samples, okay, well, there's nothing to take seriously there because soil samples are testing what's in the soil, okay? Okay. Um, so if that's, quote unquote, the big reveal, the now, secret evidence she can't talk about now. Now, now if she brought out, okay, like, like something she took, she took samples, she took it to a, uh, some place where they would be tested, I'm sorry, a laboratory, and she had the history of the area and the soil which she attested, obviously sewed, uh, build up in aluminum. Yes, that doesn't mean that it came from that. It just directly, it's but it's just new. But and, and there's no other way to explain it. Though. Would you at least be like, okay, somebody should be asking questions about this? Of course, that's what this is all about: asking the questions, not drawing conclusions based on a lack of evidence and and fear mongering. And that unfortunately is what happens yeah. whenever you have something that's like, oh, I don't understand it. People's imaginations run amok, and they start imagining like, oh, like wow, I don't understand how contrails work. So, you know, they put together this mythology to help understand it. And it's just really sad, um, I I you know, when I, when <laughs> well, I see that. <laughs> I, like I, the, I, well, I just want to say, she, in her defense, for one thing, you're right, a lot of people go nuts and all these ideas. She is disassociated from them. But I'm trying to explain I, this about she's the going on. She's going on what she's saying. But she keeps making these wild no, assertions. I, I'm trying to explain minute, to you. Minute, what I'm minute. trying. Can I say something? What are you doing? Sure. What do I do? I don't know who you are. Oh, I'm Jim Babb. Uh, I'm a miscellaneous yep. business person. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Philadelphia when activist. When did you learn how to talk like a, uh, a talk show host? <laughs> No, that sounds kind Jerry of insulting, Turner. but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> As I said at the beginning of this gathering, I said I have no particular skills, or training, or education that makes me qualified to speak on this topic. I, I threw out my disclaimer. I, I would like to point out what my point is about finding high levels in the soil. I work for the EPA, and I sample, if I'm with an EPA badge, and I sample this soil at your company, ABC Steel Mill, and I, or whatever, even a food manufacturer, if I sample your soil, and the levels are so high, I cite you for it. Why is it okay if it's so scary and so bad and the EPA would find you and I sample the same shit in my backyard and know the background that it's highly elevated? Why don't you think the EPA should address that? Shouldn't they I never see? Said that. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. If it's hazardous there when the EPA is involved and it's hazardous here when I do it, why is there no. I just said there's no connection between the, a soil sample and a, and but a, and a cloud. From? Where's it coming from? Uh, well, that's a question to ask, right. not a conclusion. That, that's that is the right the question. So if you but know, me to, to, if I know that, that they're using the same constituents there, and after heavy rainfall, it's there, and it, and it changes. I'm sorry, but for me, that's well. I know this. I know that somebody just farted aluminum. I mean, it got there Element, somehow. Yeah. Elemental aluminum. Well, right. it, well so elemental you're, you're, aluminum you're is posing the right question, occurring. but what you haven't right. addressed exactly. is how to get the right answer. Well, I feel like no matter what I say, you're not really receiving Tony? what I'm trying to tell you. You're working the Air Force. You're in charge of receiving or overseeing at least hazardous materials, right? right? I was one so of you several people that did that. So you saw things like the aluminum and the barium being yes. shipped in, right? You knew it was on base. Right. Were you privy to where it would go after that? Would you um, know well, that it went? Originally, uh, part of my proving it, I had to know where it was going because we tied it to what was called a case file. So we had to know, like, this hangar is using this, that's doing that for disposal, cradle, grave, blah, blah, blah. But when SDSs, formerly known as material safety data sheets, have to tell you where it's coming from, health hazards, PPE recommendations, mm -hmm. you know, all that. When it was half-ass filled out and I was told, it, I wasn't told where it was going, which if I had approved that, I would have gotten in trouble. However, when I raised the questions and started doing investigations over a several month period, that is when I was chastised, reprised, stripped of my duty, lost my administrative rights to approve chemicals. What does that tell you? You found something, right? Yeah. And when I specifically ask about the program and I am basically threatened, I mean... It, Therefore chemtrails. No, that led me to do further investigation and in my whole study, I have found nothing to disprove what I have found. But you never saw that those materials but, but would go up what? on a plane and come you back You found that they use barium and no, aluminum. No, because it, it's a restricted area, AWACS area. We had no, Navy on no, I'm just saying, you just say you proved that they use, bar they use barium and aluminum. 
For weather, weather modification, yes. Well, how do you know that's for weather modification? I'm explaining to you what I had my conversation with closed doors and why I lost my administrative rights. People. I'm trying to tell you things that I can't say currently and I have said before, so if it's a legal thing. Okay. And if so you think it's bullshit, I'll give you the case number when You know what? Yeah, we'll concluded. give it to the camera. I mean Well, it has to be concluded, so Okay, well at least we agree that you there's no evidence you can present to us right now that backs up the theory that chemtrails My are testimony, real. which no one can negate my Somebody find a history where I've gone across the globe spreading complete disinformation for profit because I make no money off this. I've been blackballed. I have sacrificed my reputation and my family to speak to you about something that I was completely admonished for for talking about. Well, and in all fairness, this was impromptu. It's just not like you brought it. Right. With I don't. You. I don't carry <laughs> it with me. You know. I don't. I just. And this well, is one of several issues that I have taken the government okay. up on. So, so I, th I think I, we can sort of summarize. We should probably just wrap this up. Um, you know, if you'd like to make a final statement, or uh, I think you guys want to just try to wrap this up, or do you want to have more questions? Or does anybody have any questions? Um, you, you're blocking the bakery and open sales. <laughs> <laughs> my, my ass is bringing all the boys. Please, I have a question. Um, take your final statement. Have you both seen the documentary? The Thank you. What in the world are they spraying? Yes. Not the why, which I didn't think much of, but the what. I watched at least the first 15 minutes of it. Okay. Why is that? Do you think there's validity in that, or is it a lot of BS? Or? I agreed with probably 90% of it. The only part that I had an issue with was some of the testing methods when it came to soil, just because the layperson wouldn't understand that, but because I, I actually... Was it the Mount Shasta part, testing up in Mount Shasta? Uh, because I don't... Yeah, I need... I'm very... It's hard to believe, but actually, I'm, I always research my opposition before I pick a side. And if I hadn't known what I'd known, if I would have seen that, I feel like it does mislead people a little bit because you're not explaining how it's tested, where it was tested, what was the background. Because those results meant nothing to me if I didn't contact the county there. So, mm. But I, it was done in good faith, and I thought it was a good production, yes. I, I would say that it was not done in good faith, and I, the evidence is within the first 15 minutes when he uses a weatherman on TV talking about radar chaff as what in the world are they spraying like somehow there's a question about radar chaff why would he throw that in there in something that's related to geoengineering or chemtrails or anything any of these topics when when it's clearly radar chaff if it the only purpose I can imagine is to just for the for the people that aren't really clear thinkers they might say well look at that you know there's a guy on TV that's talking about it and you put it together like kind of like Dick Cheney used to say you know 9-11 Iraq you know and he used to just say these things next to each other until people started to associate it there's no connection there um, and then it seemed like the, the his scientific expert was like a Girl Scout who would like measured soil or in her backyard or something uh, <laughs> I don't remember the specific details about it but um, and with the white beard guy the white haired guy up in Oregon um, I saw some, yeah, some like yeah, just some hippies talking about stuff, kind of like Megan making assertions, but again, no evidence presented, no, no, no peer-reviewed studies, nothing that anybody could look at and say, let me look at that data, let me measure that same thing. None of that. Just, just more wild assertions, just like, just like uh, Alex Jones just says stuff, and then people repeat it, and then somebody else repeats it, and then it confirms and it creates an echo chamber of conspiracy paranoia. Um, that it's just it's just it's just a sad waste of time for people that think they're going to fight for liberty, because we've got so many so many horrible 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 government programs that they brag about and throw parades for themselves over. Okay, like <laughs> there's so much like blatantly evil stuff. Why do we need to, you know, to imagine there's something else going on out there? So um, sorry, G. Edward. You know, I, I I love his work with the Federal Reserve, but. Um, and you know what I'm, and I assume his work on Noah's Ark is legitimate. Um, I'd never even heard of that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, G. oh yeah. Geoberg Griffin did a doc. He found Noah's Ark, and then he found chemtrails. Okay, this is it's like it's the same film company, same guy, um, you know, same level of legitimacy. Uh, so research need, it on your own. That. Don't take my word I need for to it. Watch that. But um, if you're interested in Noah's Ark, I'm sure it's awesome. Wow. You know, but uh, for those of us that are interested in fact-based. Uh, studies, we're interested in reason, we're interested in logical thinking. When it comes to analyzing these questions, I mean, I had this question, are chemtrails real? I said, I need to see the evidence. It's a theory, okay? A theory requires evidence to back it up. Otherwise, it's just an assertion. 
So all we've had are wild assertions, wild assertions. Poor, you know, poor Kristen, you know, she tries to say, you know, convince us that we've had some, you know, I, there is evidence. Trust me, I saw it, you know, but I can't talk about it.